So finally, we stop here the, the last part of this chapter, where we're going to study how to access database from servlets, but now using AGBs. So I'll jump to this part. All right, so the new flow of my application Again, it will start from a GSP that will send the control or the request to the servlet, and then the servlet will access database, this time not using GDBC, but using the EGB server. And then, once the EGB gives back the control to the servlet, after answering the request, not the HTTP request, but database request, the servlet sent the request to the GSP that display the result. So you can see that the behavior of the application is exactly the same. I type something and when I click on submit, I edit in my database and display all the content. However, the program or the project changes a little bit. The GSP is exactly the same, it does not change. But what changes mainly is the model, where now I don't have only the product, but I have entities and I have session. Exactly the same way we did when we have studied EGBs. And I have the control, which will change not on the uh, link between the GSP and the Java, but in the link between the servlet and the model. So I advise those that haven't followed the EGB chapter to uh, study the EGB in order to be able to understand this part. The, those that already know what, it, what are EGBs, they can uh, very simply understand the way I explain later. So as you can see, the program, the difference between this is the project we have studied in the previous part, and here I have the current one. So you can see that the GSP is the same. The uh, servlet is at the same position, almost the same, but here the, pro the, the model changes, of course. I don't have to, to change, of course, the, the connection database and in embedded it inside the control, but now it is completely outside the control using the EGBs. This is the uh, GSP containing the form. It is exactly the same. Now we are going to uh, study the product as the, the model of my database. So you can see that it is done uh, not uh, using uh, simply defining the, a, a new product class, but this one, it is defined with the, what is called ORM, Object Relational Mapping. And you can see that I have a mapping with my table and I define the different elements as uh, a new entity. Then I have my facade where I define the product facade in which, in which I have the manager and the, and the constructor, but the product fa facade extends the abstract one, in which I have the, the crude uh, functions, the creation, create method, the edit, the remove, find, find all, find range. And eventually, if I have something specific for the product, then I have to add it inside using my entity manager. Now, if I define something new that will be, could be applied to different entities, then I can define it in my abstract facade. Now, as you can see what changes in my servlet, what I do here, I define a new object called product facade, but which uses the product facade class as an EGB. 
okay what does mean egb it does not necessitate to be instantiated using the constructor as we will see so again the uh, the servlet will start getting the two parameters and as you can see here you can see that the code the number of lines is re reduced at most here you can see so i define a new product with these two parameters the id and description but using the facade you can see that i can create my product simply using the create method and you can see that product facade now uh, i'm not uh, i'm not obliged to instantiate it, I can use it directly because it is an EGB. So I create, it means I, it's like insertion in my database, and then I call product facade.findAll defined previously in the abstract one. And then I retrieve, I create my product list. And then I set the attribute as the product list, so on and so forth. So it is exactly as we have done before. I'm going to show you this in NetBeans. So I have the, the GSP. I have the, uh, you can see this as the, the servlet. Now it becomes very short. I have the, the product, the client as entities. In this case, I'm using only the product. Okay, I have the abstract and product facade, etc. And you can see that my GSP does not change at all. It is exactly the same as the one before. In terms of execution, it is also exactly the same. Remember, I, I am having access to the same database. You can see the number and level. You can see also the one we have just added before. It was five. Five, six, seven with desk. It is added, and of course, we can also now, for instance, we can do something like let's say anything as the number one, two, one, two, three, and add a new description. Click on submit, and then I'm supposed to have the one, two, three. Here it is, the one to three is added thanks to what I have. So I go back to PowerPoint. So I would like to summarize here quickly. I will go back to the first one here. All right, so this is to summarize that we have seen in this chapter, the MVC pattern in which I'm able to combine the servlet and GSPs or later on, or also uh, we will see later on using GSF, <coughs> uh, where I'm able to combine everything uh, in the same, uh, in the same application using the forward between the servlet and GSPs and of course, by having access to the database, either using the GDBC or what is better is to have access database using EGBs, as you can see, it is really simpler than using GDBC because it uses and it shorter a lot the, the code. So I am proposing at the end to do the following exercises. So you can do the HTML servlet HTML example, the GSP servlet GSP, and then do the same, but now using the GSP servlet GSP for the meter to fit. This is, it has been explained in the first part. Then you can do the second exercise where you access the database using GB, GDBC from a Java and Swing program where you have three functionalities, all products or providers and products of a given provider. And then you have the GSP servlet and again GSP, but the servlet calls the GDBC. 
you have also the GSP servlet Uh, this one is almost the same as this one and the last one is to have access to the uh, database from the, but using now the EGB thank you very much